Hey Wanderers, how's it going? My name is Trade, and welcome to Minecraft. Now, the reason I'm starting here is because um, me and my fellow cohorts are mad scientists and builders of very large-scale projects in Minecraft, and if I moved any other direction, it'd kind of spoil what I have to show you. Now, basically, this is just a show and asking me asking if you guys want to see more of this so I'm gonna start out with uh, <clears throat> uh, straight the elder I guess uh, my older brother his uh, his structure here and the crazy tower in the distance but we'll get to that later so it it's got to be stressed that this map has always been survival We've, we sometimes turn it on, we sometimes turn it off. Right now I have it set to off. But, so this, this is a, everything that you see here is built from materials that we had to go out and find. Which, I mean, yeah, this is a lot of jungle wood and cobblestone, but, I mean, it doesn't seem like an unreasonable amount at first. <laughs> But, but man, this thing is big, and it's got really cool views. This is probably one of my favorite things he's ever built, because I was actually really jealous of it when he was first done. It's, it's just a very cool building, I think. Maybe not the fullest, but there's other bigger, more empty buildings definitely on this map. So, but I think it's like the amount of just sheer experimentation that was done to this building is what I what I really like about it um, it's not even what I would call done but that you know it's whatever I think it's cool and so a theme with uh, with my older brother Charles is that he he definitely gets ideas and runs with them until he gets bored of them and then he starts other ideas like he made this tunnel and I was like that's a really cool idea. We should make a bigger version. And he's like, what? As I turn around and he's already built like some horrifying half-completed structure in the distance. So, I mean, it's really fun to play Minecraft with him, I think. Because the stupid stuff he does is fun. Um, yeah, he built a giant sand, like, I don't know, like, stairwell to the heavens to, uh, yeah, it's it, it's it's amazing watching him build things because it all happens so fast. Um, oh man, that tower in the jungle. Mm, that's that's a legend, basically. So this dirt wall is here because my little brother Nick, he is he is the dedicated heavy Minecrafter. He knows how to do a lot of the stuff. And he's played on tower. Uh, he's played on a lot of servers on the PC. He is he is good at the technical, like building on Minecraft. So so this this big carved out section right here. This is all Charles, 100%. This is all my older brother. But where it gets all kind of confusing looking over here, like like this shaft. That's definitely Charles. That's 100% Charles. Um, but if we go this direction and then we go down, uh, maybe, where am I? Um, um, well, there's, wait, I don't, hang on, I'm confused, why is this all bricked up? I don't have a pickaxe on me, so this is... Okay, I must have went in on the wrong... Oh, okay, I see. Well, that's just going to stay like that for now. Oh, God, they made their own thing. I'm an idiot. Okay, so Nick must have prettied this up when I wasn't looking, and I totally just punched a hole straight into it. Oops. Ooh, I got a message. What is up, homie? Nobody. This is my friend John. I did a smite video with him a couple times. Great. 
Thanks. Thanks, John. That was really nice. So, huh, I didn't know that they made a, like a fancy entrance to this. Wow, this looks really good. And I feel bad for punching a gig gigantic hole in it. Anyway, so that's a that's a monster farm. So that's pretty cool. Um, I like structures that you can that you can see from the map. And but don't pay too much attention to my map yet because like Oh my goodness, this is another thing that's 100% Charles. It's just like, oh, I found, like, a thing that I can't get out of without building out of it. It's like, Charles, you left, like, a pit of doom in the middle of your house. He's like, yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be there. Alright. Anyway, I'm not gonna go into it, but this tower, off in the distance, he built in and around and through a jungle. And... At first, we tried to use flint and steel to just burn the jungle down, but then he got bored with that, and then came over here and made this. So, the jungle's overgrown part of it, and it's really confusing to walk through, and I like to say that it's his fourth dimensional tower, where people, like he was convinced by some ancient god to build. It's really confusing to walk through, and like, you can see the stairways, they go around inside and through it and there's trees poking out and there's vines everywhere it's a nightmare and i love it so now we also built a minecart system to travel through to quick travel between all our houses because uh there's a good three or four of us that regularly played on this map for a while and we all have our own achievements that we've done so i'm just gonna instead of taking the railroad i'm going to walk it because there's certain things that I want to show off. Now, I will say that one of the things that I want to show off in this video is a pyramid that I built that I don't think is visible from here. It's not. So, now, it's the outer shell of it's made of sandstone, sandstone stairs. So, I've had to mine parts of the desert away and I've mined very big chunks of the desert away. Like, um, I don't know. Does this do anything for, does this do anything for you? Like, I've, I've completely mined away whole islands of sand. Like, that's a, that's an example of some of the stuff that I've done. Uh, that's an example of stuff that I've done to just, to get this thing going I don't I don't, I don't want to ruin the reveal because like I feel like once you see the pyramid everything else on this world is kind of like not as at the very least not as like structurally impressive because my goodness it took me and Nick several hours to build the foundation for it and then I've been building on the pyramid on and off for like a year trying to finish it and I just finished it last night so I kind of want to I figured it'd be, it's, it'd be a good time to show people so another person that uh, lives on this map a lot his name his screen name is Johnson he's a pretty cool guy uh, we've we've done some um, payday stuff with him I believe but he's he's always really good at decorating his his stuff so all all his houses all look really good and he doesn't hang on to he doesn't hang on to blocks that he doesn't need so he's got a little trash compartment that'll he can just throw stuff out of and it'll despawn eventually and it's all very neat and tidy and it's very him and it's it he also built a secondary rail track that leads that leads him straight to a mine shaft that he likes um, so yeah, if you take a rail car and ride all the way there, you'll end up in like the bowels of the earth. And if you ride all the way back, you fall down on these stopping blocks. And the, so he can just get out and walk into his house. Um, so I'm just, I'm just trying to like make the pyramid not obvious. Because once it shows up, it's like, oh, that's quite large. So let me just, yeah, I'll just, I'll just walk like this. Now, if you go back in the video and look at my map, you can definitely tell where the pyramid is because it looks pretty gosh darn impressive. 
uh, on the map, if I do say so myself. But so I'm just just following this mine this uh, minecart track, and it, the story of the minecart track is actually pretty interesting because we didn't uh, most of our minecart tracks we didn't actually make. We found a couple f um, fortresses and abandoned mines, that kind of thing, and took everything. <laughs> We took all of it from from the fortresses and stuff, and you know this is just a neat little. A, a lot of the stuff we do is just like, oh, that would be cool. I'm just gonna suspiciously exit this this thing sideways, like yeah, not gonna look that way. And so, you remember how at back at Charles's like tower, he had that little underground or underwater tunnel. I took that idea and I ran with it. And the nice thing about builds like this is that they really don't take very much time, right? Because you can build, you can, basically what I did was I took, oh, there's a peeky poo of the, uh, the pyramid. Basically what I did was take three by three of, or it ended up being like five by three of dirt and just roughly built out what I wanted uh, underground. And then once that was done, I went through and got all the glass that I could. And it had to be blocks of glass because glass panes just didn't look right. So I went through with blocks of glass and just filled everything in. Then once the glass was up, I went through and removed all the dirt. So you're left with a glass tunnel. Um, and then after that, I went through with a smooth stone and replace all the dirt and what have you with smooth stone because that's just the kind of map that we've got going. Johnson's very meticulous about what he likes on Minecraft maps and he likes smooth stone. He he likes everything to look look good. So again, I'm not going to turn to the left because man, there's there's something that I'm hiding from you guys. Um and up this direction is the place that I call home just jumping sideways uh, but I think we're gonna run past uh, my little brother Nick's house first I mean it's not I mean this is all just Minecraft stuff I, I just think it's interesting what we can what we do here like how our styles differ um, uh, okay Nick's very utilitarian on his Minecraft stuff it's he had oh, how do I come out? Come out! Come out! There we go. It's very utilitarian, and he's got. He doesn't build like a bunch of chest space because he uses my house because my house is just down the way, and he just builds a little thing that looks good where he can hold some stuff. That's all he really needs. Um, so going down towards my house I've always wanted to try to build a, a house made out of a tree if that makes sense so I took that idea and basically ran with it this world is old enough that acacia trees weren't a thing when we started so I had to find new trunks and find acacia trees down at the bottom of the map um, one of the things that I really like but has taken a long time to come together if only because I've never been bored enough to actually finish it. I'm making a world map. Uh, this is how big uh, Xbox One Minecraft maps are. And I've kind of just been filling it in as I go. And <clears throat> I was doing a good job of it right up until, like, the top. Like, this, this row of ocean. I just, like, all my willpower just broke. And I just had to stop. I just had to stop doing this project for a while which is impressive considering some of the other projects I'm going to show you so this is our our nether portal that isn't lit for some reason are you open mmm that's weird anyway I attribute that to it being an old map anyway because our nether has changed at least once when they updated um, so it's just like the nethers infecting the building I I like the look I think it's cool and then you know, standard Minecraft operating procedure. You know, we've got several holes straight down into the into the uh, bowels of the earth, right? So that's pretty standard for a Minecraft map. 
and just look down. Uh, <laughs> shh, you don't see anything. <laughs> and we've got a farm going, right? We've got more holes down to the center of the earth. Uh, pumpkins. Uh, a base of the pyramid over there that's ridiculously big. This is this is the house that I live in. And I'm super proud of it. Right? So you open the door. I'm going to shut it. I'm going to go up. I really enjoy this house the most at night. Because all the torches are hidden in the leaves. And it diffuses the light through the whole building and I just I really this is one of my favorite structures I've ever made in Minecraft period so let me get to the the other things on that list so I'm gonna go ahead and take a nap bring it to the day cycle and then we're gonna take a look at the pyramid um, because that's haunting it's 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 in the distance and I can't I can I can only not look at it for so much like it's been on screen several times it's just it's just kind of it's just kind of big and and my god the amount of time that I've spent gathering sand and sandstone for this is probably far more hours than I care to admit I promise you it's over 10 like, it was a solid two or three hours to finish patching up the outside of this for this video. Um, but its sheer size is stupid. Like, I started working on this when I was feeling particularly down. And I just asked Nick if he wanted to help me build something. And he's like, sure. And once we got... <clears throat> I'm going to credit another person in the design of this his name is normalizable i believe he's got a youtube channel as well i'll see if i can't uh or that's that's his psn account name and that's what he uses this these days i'll see if i can't get his youtube channel like url because i know he's got a couple of videos i'll see if i can't fish that up so you guys can go stare at him but uh so this is the pyramid, and there's stuff on the inside, and I'll show it to you. Yep, this is, uh... Wow, that's really big. Yeah, that's what she said. Man, the payoff of that joke is just never-ending. Alright, so... The design of this pyramid will, will make sense in a second. Um, which I'm sure this isn't anything new, but this is what me and my buddy Normalizable came up with one day uh, for the original 360 Minecraft, and he helped me build a pretty big pyramid on that too. So, so basically, I love that on the Xbox One, the tower, the pyramid's big enough that you, the render distance or the draw distance is just too far to see the other side of the pyramid unobscured, but each each row is made of a different material, right? So the bottom wall, which is by far... Oh, Nick was also building his own uh, replica house in here because we didn't know what to do with the space. So the bottom wall is made of jungle wood planks. And this is what I have... This is what I hope to have done across all the uh, inside layers eventually is this... this pattern of torches but that's just something I start working on today so I'm not probably not gonna have that done for a while but uh, so the bottom wall is all jungle wood planks and then let's see the bottom is all jungle wood the next row is spruce and then it is oak dark oak um, Oh my goodness, what's that kind of tree? Oh boy. Brain fart. It, uh... <clears throat> anyway. Poplar? No, that's not right. Do I have it? Anyway. Uh, oh, that's gonna drive you crazy. Anyway, the, um... Acacia's the top one. And then there's a chandelier up there, but just compared to the size of the structure, the chandelier's tiny. 
But I mean, that's like 20, 15 or 20 blocks across up there. It's really big. So we started with the outline, right? So we, I think this is where we started, where I, I wanted this to be, what, nine blocks tall, each, each one. So it's one, two, that's one, two, three, four, well, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it looks like. Nine with the bottom. So nine tall. And then nine across. Oh, I did the math for all of this at some point. Um, it's like... It's big. It's stupid how big this place is. Like, the amount of cobblestone for this floor is like into the thousands just for the floor and we were running out of cobblestone so like the the white trees whatever trees those are um i can't remember oh that's driving me crazy but uh we started out with this block grid pattern right to make it easier to just fill in but we just ran out of cobblestone. Just like We just straight ran out, which is impressive because I'm going to show you where I mined all the cobblestone. I'm going to show you where I mined some of the sandstone too. Um, so eventually the pattern had to get less and less for each, for each rung because we just were running out of materials. But I think, I think it's a very cool like design and look to it personally and I built and I wanted to have a mega tree in here because I've got a thing for making big trees so this is like several trees growing all together and then <clears throat> and then I've just taken jungle wood and built around them and just made just an obscenely big tree if only for the fun of it and then we've got <laughs> we've got exactly one staircase to go to the spruce area so yeah um this putting the sandstone up was also a nightmare basically what i eventually started doing was i put the blocks on the for the corner pieces for like the block that would be like right here i would put that all the way down the spine and then i would fill them in to where it would be flush with this with this part right here so the corners would be done and I can just fill in from there but uh, oh the reason all these torches are here is because at night the sandstone glows because light penetrates through stairs so eventually there's gonna be enough oh oh, oh, oh hang on hang on eventually there's gonna be enough light that the uh, that the whole thing will glow at night and it's going to be very interesting or it's very cool to look at so also nick put down <clears throat> nick put down a special message i don't know if you can read that but it definitely says send nudes thanks nick really appreciate you spelling send nudes in torches on the floor here makes me happy um let's see if i can get a better angle of it because you can't really see it there but we we spent a good three or four hours the first day we were doing this, and we barely got the sh the structure like just we barely got the structure of it planned out. When I say structure, I mean like the outline for it. Oh, is this gonna be high enough? Yeah, definitely high enough. Send nudes. Anyway, um, thanks, Nick. Uh, <laughs> um, so I. I got like a quarter of the floor done and Nick got the basic like outline of the stairs. These, these center pillars for lack of a better term was our starting point to make it all even because it took a while to figure out how we were going to make this work. And I'm pretty proud of how it showed up anyway. Uh, it's, Oh man, this video is like half an hour long already. <clears throat> or 25 minutes, that's alright though. <clears throat> I'm just showing off what we can do. It's just a fun little thing. Mostly because I haven't been using my rail system. Um, we For a while we had a fourth player. He was an elusive fourth player that didn't uh, play that often. But 
he's had an impact on the skyline of this map as well, which is really fun. Uh, all his stuff was really weird, like, from far away, it, uh, it looked crazy cool, but once he got up close, it was, like, held together by duct tape and, like, glue. It's just like, oh, okay, oh, I stopped for, oh, okay, okay, okay. This map has problems with saving because of how gigantic it is and how many blocks we've moved. Uh, yeah, there's, like, this big, oh, it's gone. There's a big corkscrew thing corkscrew tower and this is where my rail system gets kind of crazy so just uh, bear with me it's hard to look at i know uh, yeah. okay okay so down here at the bottom <clears throat> this is where part of the cobblestone has come from yeah this is y level 12 we're just basically looking for diamonds here um, and yeah, this is pretty, pretty cleared out, I would say. It, uh, it's definitely been used. Just, I mean, it's not the biggest hole in the ground I've seen, but, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty clear cut in here. But, uh, the whole pyramid thing started when I got bored one day. I, I mean, I got catastrophically bored because I was playing this and someone else was building something and I didn't feel like going caving. So I just started digging down. And I just, I just didn't stop. And I dug, I dug, and then I dug some more. And this amount of cobblestone was not enough to fill in the pyramid floor. And, and like the support structure or the, the frame so we could fill it in later this this just wasn't enough this is just straight up not enough so I uh, we eventually that's why the bottom floor is as, as crazy or the Y level 12 is as crazy clear as it is because I just I needed I needed more cobblestone just, just I needed more of it and Charles would use some for his things and like, I just, I didn't have near as much as I thought I did. Maybe I have a lot more in here. No, these chests all used to be full of cobblestone. Yeah. All of my chests used to look like this. And this must have been... <clears throat> I just remember running out of cobblestone while building this thing. While building the pyramid, so... Eh, I could be wrong. But yeah, there's the corkscrew tower. It, look, it looks pretty neat, actually. I like it a lot, but once you get up close to it, it's all, like, weird shapes and stuff. Um, I kind of feel bad. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Nate. I might have taken apart your building because I needed the contents of it. I, I needed sandstone, and you haven't played on the map in a long time, so I just I took your stuff apart. But, okay, so sandstone. So, sandstone stairs to create, what, four of them? Something like that? I don't know how, how many. Um, to create stairs from, sand, from sandstone. So, it takes four blocks of sand to make sandstone. And it takes six blocks of sandstone to make a set of what three four stairs something like that uh, it's not a lot so and oh man I want to say it's the length of the thing is 64 or maybe it's a hundred and anyway that's the pyramid on the map that kind of gives you an idea of just how massive it is I'll, I'll talk to my more math-minded friends because there's probably an easy way to calculate how much sandstone was used in this, but I'm going to see how many stairs that I get from a single stack, and then we'll go from there, and I'll post it in the description. But uh, all that sandstone, or a good amount of the sandstone, was uh, mined out of the deserts, and um, specifically on my map, because I have a world map, because that is just the kind of Minecraft or way... That's just the way that we roll on Minecraft. Um, 
this this one right here that I've got my crosshairs on, there was a there is a desert temple there, and there was a desert temple in here somewhere. This is where new chunks spawned, by the way. On this cut line right here, that is actually a flat cliff face. You, we've got more of them right here and more of them right here. That's where new chunks have spawned on the map. Anyway, so there were desert temples several places on the map. I went through and I took apart desert temples from the tops of the towers to the bottom of the pyramid, of the trap shaft. I took desert temples entirely apart. Like, top to bottom. I removed them and brought them here to make stairs. Anyway, this glow is what I was talking about. It's eventually, it's going to be a full glow, more or less like this second tier up right here. It's It just takes a lot of torches and... I, I'm not going to lie to you, just getting in the, the fact that the sandstone is up is exciting enough for me for right now. So, Johnson's going to be like, no, it's not done, it's not symmetrical. Anyway, um, so the amount, there's, there's thousands of sandstone blocks on this. And it's, it's, there's just, it, I love this. This is by far the most impressive thing. This this is what I was talking about. Hang on. It's by far the most impressive thing I've ever built. Um, it's 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 just it's, it's amazing. It's birch. That's what it was. And I, I love every second of it. However, I will say that I do need some help from you guys if there's anybody available to help. So I need a better door because let's face it. This is pretty pew. This is pretty not so great. Um, you know, I'd, I'd even say it'd be fun to to go in, like, through here, down, and then up into it. So it's completely enclosed. Like, you have to go through an underground passage to, like, say, get to, like, right here or something. That'd be fun. I'd have a good time doing that. But that's just one idea. Um... If, if anybody has any ideas on what to do with all the empty space, because my goodness, the amount of empty space in this building is outrageous. Our best idea was make a big tree and put a house in it. Like a full-size house into this. Um, so yeah, if anybody has any good ideas for entrances, if you want to leave them in the comments, that would be much appreciated because I've used up all my creativity, basically by making something gigantic. I don't know that there's much, like, creativity that goes along with it, but... Hey, man, I'm having fun with it. So, uh... Alright, guys. Um... If, uh, if you like this, it'd be nice if I can get a subscribe or a like. Um... Or if you guys, uh... If you guys ever want to play Minecraft or have any good epic builds, just, uh, drop me a, a message, uh... My, on Xbox Live, my name's Trade Warrior, so just come find me. Send me a friend request, send me a message or something. And uh, if I have time or if I'm not doing something else, heck, I'll play Minecraft. Um, it's it's a fun game to just veg out and mess with for a while. Um, I think our end goal here is to build a beacon inside of the top tier. Like, that's, that's, <clears throat> that's the plan for this. But... Anybody who plays Minecraft knows how hard it is to get beacons naturally. So, we've tried a couple times, and we've failed a couple times to, you know, withers. Oh, man. It's just, it's just, it's hard. But, uh, anyway, yeah. You guys, uh, if you guys want to play or have any suggestions on entrances for this dang thing, just, uh, Drop me a line down below, hit the like button, maybe build subscribe, you know, press that, that'd be nice. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Alright, guys, keep wandering, don't get lost.